Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to do gesture recognition task in MediaPipe. So basically, what we will be doing is uh, we will be having uh, to say your uh, uh an image basically where there will be some gesture by a hand okay so this for example this is a thumbs up okay um so what how many are there so basically you can see there are uh, obviously there is unrecognized which means uh, the model will not understand then there is closed so it's going to be your closed palm then there is open palm a closed fist basically so it's going to be closed fist then there is open palm then there is pointing up okay then there is a uh, your thumbs down then you have thumbs up and then you have victory which is the v sign and also the love sign okay so um, there are seven uh, different signs and one is unrecognized so these are the signs you can give and the way you give it is through an image so for example this image is a thumbs up image okay so it can be thumbs up thumbs down image palm open image and so on and so forth so basically we will be giving this image into our ml model and the ml model will be responsible for predicting that particular image okay so um, the one that i have taken again python uh, i have uh, repurposed the code in order to make sure that we are able to use it with one uh, image okay and uh, yeah the way it works is what it does is it takes an image it tries to find out 21 coordinates so zero say is from zero to 20 that's 21 coordinates okay so this is the location so the uh, over here is a zero then the base of the thumb is one two three and four then this is your index finger five six seven eight then uh, here is your middle finger nine eight uh, nine ten eleven twelve and then your ring finger 13 14 15 16 and the little finger is 17 18 19 20 okay so basically at every bend you have uh, every uh, yeah bend you have a point okay so it says that it uh, the model was trained on approximately 30,000 real world images as well as several rendered synthetic hand images imposed over various boundaries. So basically some uh, augmentation but uh, smart, smartly they have done. And after that again the hand, uh, it, uh, basically what it does is it takes the image and find this, finds these points. There's, there's not much in this. Okay. So the model that we are going to use is uh, just one model that was there. Uh, wait. Yeah. So hand gesture classifier, it's uh, basically a model. So that is what we are going to use. So let's go to the code. Okay. So the image that I have been using, that I'll be using in this window, uh, in this uh, project or in this code is basically this hand image. So you can see it's a uh, palm image, it's an open palm. Okay. So you can see over here and we will try to detect the tip of the uh, thumb, but uh, everything else remains the same. Okay. You just need to take care of the index. I'll show you how it is done. So we need to just find that. So basically first you do is you import, you install MediaPipe and then this particular library that is, uh, the link is already there in the description for the code. So you can go and get that, okay? And then again, yeah, you need a CV2 and a Google patch for CV2 M show. Then uh, you basically have to import these three um, uh, to say imports. So you import MediaPipe, then from the MediaPipe.tasks, again, we are using Python, so you import Python. And media by media task dot python since we are doing a vision classification uh, vision problem so we import vision again you need to have your uh, base options which are in the model path is over here you can go and copy path over here options you basically need to give the base options and recognizer is what we'll be using from our uh, for our particular uh, problem okay then image uh, I, I have already shown you the palm image over here so here you can go three dots you can say copy path and then paste it over here okay uh, so that will be there and the recognizer over here is what we have already initialized over here it's going to recognize for that image okay so um, the results that we have uh, gotten is saved in recognition underscore result and if you do a dir on that what can you get you can get a couple of things we are only interested in the gestures hand landmarks uh, sorry hand landmarks so your hand world landmarks i didn't use it didn't find really helpful and handedness is again left hand or right hand okay so um, recognition results dot gesture so we are trying to get the first one okay if you do a uh, indexing on this zero zero you will get this okay category so here we are interested in the score so how confident it is and what is the category so it's an open palm right we have seen the image it's an open palm okay so that you can get and the way you get it is but just by um, you know just taking this entire thing and then uh, dot whatever you want you want a category name so you can give dot category name so you can get name and if you want the score which is over here that is 62 percent you can get you can say dot score and you can write it as score so 
here what you can do is you can go say name and score and um, okay and hopefully it should print it for you you can see open palm is the name and score is 62 percent whatever okay now let's say you are interested in uh, um, let's say in the tip of the finger okay so for example you are interested in the tip of the thumb okay now let's go back over here how do we know what is the tip of the thumb so this is the thumb and the tip is four okay so here it is four it's a thumb tip so what you will say is in here you will go and in the just uh, in the land hand landmarks okay as you remember there were four of here so gestures basically gives you your uh, confidence score and the category but hand landmarks is going to give you the uh, exact coordinate of your uh, whatever you want so i want the tip of the finger i know it is four over here written over here four so i'm going to say recognition results dot hand landmarks of zero uh, because there is one hand and all of that i want the fourth one so the, i will take it as quads okay this coordinates and um, quads dot x is going to be our x coordinate and quads dot y is going to be our y coordinate so if you print that you can see our x coordinate normalized x coordinate is 0 0.22 and 0 0.31 now the question is how to get the real coordinate okay uh, before doing that uh, you know there's something called as handedness you saw over here uh, there is the, the fourth one was handedness just to say whether it's left hand or right hand and according to this particular model you can see that uh, it's the left hand okay you can see get the name left so it's a left hand okay now what i want to do is we have already got the coordinates now i want to plot those coordinates right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to see i'm going to read the image so our image is over here again we are doing going to do cv2 cv2 dot read im read and then i want to know the width and height so width and height over here okay or you can say you know height or width i don't remember um it's, uh, it's yeah you can just see okay so x is height uh, so i'm sure this is w and this is h okay so you can keep like that and uh, this is h and this is um, w so if you do like that over here you can change it to w which is x and this is over here whatever okay so our height is as you can see in the image uh, the image is a tall image okay not that broad which means the height is high and this the height is higher than the width okay so height is 4804 4, pixels and width is 3202 pixels okay so what do you do after that again you read that particular image because now i want to I have gotten the uh, normalized coordinate over here and i have also gotten the height and width of the image so in order to get the real coordinate what i need to do i am going to draw a circle over here you can see a green dot over here okay so cv2 dot circle you can need to pass in the raw image the basic image and then you need to pass in the coordinates so x quad is the x quad is the normalized coordinate so if you multiply it by the width you get the real coordinate but uh, uh, cv2 function expects is it to be an int so i have given an int same thing for the y coordinate over here uh, you have to multiply it with the height of the image and and give a int so that this entire thing is converted into int 30 is basically the radius of the circle so yeah you know it's small because i have actually resized it that's why it's looking small but in the real image it was a lot bigger than this okay so 30 pixels is uh, uh, the particular size of the image the radius of the circle 255 0 to comma 255 dot 0 so bgr g is 255 which means it's going to be a green circle as you can see and minus one it means the circle is going to be filled okay so uh, this was supposed to give us our ig which was the real image but again this is a very big image that's why i had to resize it to 350 cross 350 and then i'm going to show it over here okay so if you run you be you get this particular image and you can see on the left on the thumb tip of the thumb this green dot is there which means we were able to find it okay so let's say you want to let's go back over here let's say you are interested in now uh, let's say you are interested in the um, let's say you are interested in the knuckle of the uh, of the index finger of the uh, ring finger okay so what is the number of the uh, number is 13 okay so what i'm going to do over here is instead of 4 i'm going to write 13 so i'm going to write 13 and i'm going to just basically do this okay again i'm going to say x chord y chord and uh, right handedness is going to be there no problem so now i again same thing height and width but in this time i'm going to get the uh, hopefully the you can see the knuckle of the uh, to say uh, this um, ring finger okay so that is there and uh, yeah so that's it from my side for this particular video if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you very much and bye